welcome back. Um, Jamie Cairns here at Fluent. I'm joined again by Paul Williams from Commerce Tools. Hi, Paul. Hi, Jamie. Good to be back. Hi, everyone. Um, at the uh, at the end of the last conversation we had, we we talked about maybe getting into some examples of how teams were structured or their experience of utilizing market technology in uh, in digital transformations and. Um, you, you were going to see if uh, you, you gained some insights from some of your clients uh, and your teams. Uh, what have you found? Yeah, I, I reached out to one of our customers who's um, a, a major airline um, who recently replatformed. Um, they, they moved from uh, SAP Commerce to, to Commerce Tools um, and, and made sort of contact with the team and understood, you know, what, what types of changes did, did the new technology and the new approach have on them as a development team and, and as a business specifically. Um, and it's some really good insights in, in the way that they approached it. Um, they basically, you know, went about kind of pausing their existing development train um, to enable their team to make that transition. And, and um, interestingly, didn't, didn't really have a huge impact on the actual skills of the, of the team that was involved, um, which was really interesting. That's great. As, as these projects kind of take um, take root and, and we see them in, in our clients as they're kind of decomposed into smaller, more manageable chunks, there's, there's an ever kind of growing appetite for clients to take on some of that responsibility, both from a development or an integration and implementation approach themselves, which kind of often necessitates a, an adaptation of skill set or an acquisition of new skills or, or new folks coming in. How have the teams seen, seen that? Yeah, it was really interesting in that they were able to apply a lot of the skills that they already have in their existing team, which was really good for them is that they, you know, um, didn't have to engage a, a large organization to shift to that new technology stack. Um, skill sets that already existed were transferable. And as I said, they enabled the team the space and the time to be able to make that transition across. Um, given that everything is consumable via APIs, um, and they had to integrate some 70 backend systems. Um, it, it, it enabled the team that had already been working together to create that efficiency in being able to transfer those skills across as well as the way that they operate together um, was all enabled them to, to have a successful go live um, and, and achieve that, that outcome that they were looking for, um, which is really good for them and really good for us. Yeah, I, th I think it's where it, it becomes really incumbent on, you know, folks like us as technology providers to utilize, uh, where appropriate, commonly understood development languages, APIs and, and protocols and so forth. So um, it's good to hear that those skills are readily transferable. Um, I think that's, that's it for our quick chat this week. Um, for uh, for everyone who's been joining us, please send through any specific questions you've got, either about this or any of the other topics we've spoken about, or if there's any anything else you'd like to hear us talk about, um, feel free to let us know in the comments as well. So, um, but for now, thanks again, Paul. Good to talk to you. Thanks, Jeremy. Thanks, everyone.